In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to create a new screen and then use buttons to navigate between screens. First, let's click on the Add Screen button. After clicking on that, we get to pick a name for our screen. Remember to have good style and name your screen something meaningful. In my case, I'm going to name it Intro Classes. On this screen, that's where I'm going to put my Intro Classes information. So I'm going to click OK, and now it's a little bit scary because everything seems to disappear. But fear not, it hasn't disappeared. It's still available to you here in the, on the different screen panel where you can click on that down button and you can see your different screens. Now on this screen, I'm just going to add one button that simply is my back button. So I'm going to rename that button back and I'm going to click OK. And then on the button itself, I'm going to change the button text to be a less than less than symbol and then the word back. So we'll have that cool look where um, it makes it clear to the user that they're going back. Now I have to write the code to get from screen to screen. So I'm going to start back into screen one. And I'm going to program my intro classes button to go to the intro classes screen. So I click on blocks. And then from blocks, first I'm going to create an event for my intro button classes. Click, drag, drop. Then I'm going to go to the built-in blocks and click on Control. Inside of Control, arranged alphabetically, is open another screen with a screen name and a missing puzzle piece. What I have to do there is insert the puzzle piece um, of uh, the text. That's the name of the screen I want to go to. So this screen happens to be named Screen Intro Class. Now, just to double check, I'm going to click on that. Ooh, it's intro classes. So good thing I double checked. If you type anything wrong, even a capital letter or versus a small letter, or for example, miss the ES in intro classes, you the screen would not navigate to the proper screen and nothing would happen. And your user would be frustrated and you'll have to debug that. So now, when I uh, click on the intro classes, I'll go to the intro screen. But now how about back in the intro screen? Can I make my button work to send me back? So I'm going to program my back button to send me back. And um, I'm going to go back to blocks. I'm going to go to the back button. I'm going to click, drag, drop. And then I'm going to use the control again to find alphabetically, open another screen with a screen name. And the screen name in this case is named Screen1. So I'm going to type Screen1 in. Boom. Done. Game, set, match. When I run my app, though, I want to do my best to make sure I'm in Screen1. Sometimes weird things happen in App Inventor um, with AI Companion. When you are not in Screen1, um, Screen1 is the launching screen. It's always the launching screen. But when you run AI Companion, it's just smart to move it back to Screen1. Thank you for watching this video about how to add screens and go to screens from buttons um, using the open, um, the open another screen block.